All pilot locations are judged by the customer on a variety of criteria. Cleanliness is one of the most important key points. The importance of proper cleanliness at each pilot location is critical to the overall image of the entire pilot corporation. Our customers want to pull into a business that appears clean and attractive on the outside. This invites them inside the business where they expect the same consistency of cleanliness from the floors to the restrooms to the food service areas. Consistent proper cleaning procedures are mandatory to maintain pilot's high level image to the customer. Now let's look at some of the important areas to be maintained. Public restrooms, showers, floors, fuel islands and fuel pumps, and general store cleaning. Each one of the listed topics will be demonstrated in detail in separate sections on the following videotape. Please view the tape in its entirety and then review sections as often as needed. If you have a question that the video doesn't answer, please contact your immediate supervisor. You realize that at one time or another, every pilot customer is going to need to utilize the restroom. It's most important that these restrooms are clean and fresh at all times. Maintaining outstanding cleanliness standards in the restrooms will leave our customers with a positive impression of pilot. There are two specific levels of cleaning the restroom. The first level is the GI procedure. This procedure is to be performed once a day and is a heavy duty cleaning of the restroom. Now here's the list of equipment needed to perform the proper GI procedure. Rubber gloves to be worn at all times while cleaning. Dry cloths. Blue QC 5020 glass cleaner dispensed from the chemical proportioner. DS411 surface disinfectant deodorizer. Red IM616 GI shower and island cleaner dispensed from the chemical proportioner into a pump up sprayer. RB352 non-acid bowl cleaner with brush. Mop and mop bucket with clean water. SP737 stainless steel polish, wet floor sign, a urinal screen, broom and dustpan, HB210 pink lotion hand soap. The first step in restroom cleaning is to clean the exhaust fans. This is because any particles on the fan will fall to the floor while cleaning. Remove any dust and debris built up on the fan. Spray with QC5020 glass cleaner and wipe dry with a clean cloth. Next, clean the ashtrays. Remove and empty all ashtrays. If necessary, wipe out the inside of the ashtray holder. Clean ashtray holder with QC5020 glass cleaner and wipe dry. Then replace the ashtray. Clean sink area. Spray sinks, countertops, and walls with IM616 GI Shower and Island Cleaner. Scrub all three areas as necessary to remove any buildup and wipe thoroughly dry. Spray fixtures with DS-411 surface disinfectant deodorizer to disinfect. Clean all dispensers. Spray all soap, towel, and toilet tissue dispensers with QC-5020 glass cleaner. Wipe dry with a clean cloth. Check paper supply levels and refill any dispensers as necessary. Soap dispensers should be checked and filled with HB-210 pink lotion hand soap. Clean mirror. Spray mirror sparingly with QC-5020 glass cleaner. This product is an alcohol-based glass and light-duty cleaner. It's safe on all surfaces, not harmed by water. Polish dry with a clean cloth. Before we discuss the cleaning of toilet bowls and urinals, let's take a moment to talk about bowl and restroom cleaners. RB322, thickened bowl and tile cleaner, contains 20% phosphoric acid. 
It's considered a very heavy-duty product and is intended to be used in areas where heavy hard water scale buildup is troublesome or where rust and iron is a stain problem. This product should be handled carefully and label instructions should be understood before handling. This product should be used on the inside of urinals and toilet bowls. This product is not a disinfectant. RB352 is a non-acid restroom and bowl cleaner. This product is not as heavy duty of a product. It contains no acid but is a disinfectant, killing such germs as HIV-1 virus, AIDS, and the TB virus. This product can be used full strength on any surface not harmed by water. It's an excellent product designed for use during periodic checks and cleaning of restrooms and showers. Now, to continue with the proper cleaning of urinals and toilets. Clean toilet stalls. Lift the lid and force water out of bowl with brush. Apply bowl cleaner to the inside of the bowl and under the rim. Then let set. While bowl cleaner is working, apply RB352 non-acid bowl cleaner to a cloth. Wipe the top and bottom of the seat, behind the seat, the top of the rim, and the outside of the toilet. When the bowl cleaner has had time to work, swab with bowl mop and flush. If necessary, wipe the exterior of the bowl dry. Spray toilet stall walls with IM616 GI Shower and Island Cleaner, then wipe dry. Clean urinals. Remove any debris and screen from urinal. Spray with RB322 Thicken Bowl Cleaner or RB352 non-acid bowl cleaner, depending on the requirements in your area. Allow the product to work. Apply RB352 non-acid bowl cleaner to a towel and wipe the exterior of the urinal from the top down. Scrub the interior of the urinal thoroughly with bowl brush and rinse by flushing urinal. Replace screens and scent blocks. Spray urinal room walls with IM616 GI shower and island cleaner. Wipe dry with a cloth. Clean the trash cans. First remove can liner and any loose debris. Next, spray the trash can inside and out with QC 5020 glass cleaner. Wipe dry with a clean cloth. First the outside and then the inside. Spray with DS 411 surface disinfectant deodorizer. DS-411 surface disinfectant and deodorizer is a surface disinfectant, not a cleaner. Any surface where this product is to be used must be cleaned first. This product is then intended to be sprayed onto the clean surface and allowed to dry. Do not wipe off. Be certain spray nozzle is aligned with the red dot on the collar of the can. This will ensure the can empties completely of product. Insert new can liner and reposition the trash can in its original position.
Make sure all promotional flyers are in place, then quickly review the restroom to ensure the customer will be satisfied with the cleanliness and operation of the restroom. Fill the two-gallon pop-up sprayer with a hot solution of FC-1812 Quarry Tile Floor Cleaner from the Chemical Proportioner and fill a mop bucket with clean hot water. Sweep restroom floor of all dirt and debris and strategically position wet floor signs. Spray the floor thoroughly with cleaning solution. Scrub with a deck brush. Next, take a dry mop and start in a logical location, moving the mop in long, side-to-side -side movements. Always keep the mop in contact with the floor, picking up all the excess cleaning solution. Lastly, the most important step, rinse the floor with clean water. This ensures the floor retains its non-skid properties. Check all equipment for proper function. This includes sinks, toilets, urinals, dispensers, doors, and exhaust fans. The other level of restroom cleaning is what's known as the 30-minute check. This is simply an abbreviated version of the GI procedure to ensure the restroom is maintained throughout the day. Here's a list of the equipment needed to perform the proper 30-minute check. Rubber gloves, dry cloths, DS-411 surface disinfectant deodorant, RB-352 non-acid bowl cleaner and brush, blue QC-5020 glass cleaner, mop and mop bucket with clean water, yellow DS-402 lemon disinfectant cleaner, a wet floor sign, and HB-210 pink lotion hand soap. Upon entering the restroom, review the entire facility, assessing areas needing attention. Check trash containers for level of trash and empty and clean if necessary. Clean sinks and countertops by spraying with DS-402 Lemon Disinfectant Cleaner and wiping dry. DS-402 is a medium-duty lemon-scented germicidal detergent that cleans, disinfects, and deodorizes. It will be your primary cleaner on the 30-minute checks. DS-402 Lemon Disinfectant Cleaner should be dispensed from the chemical proportioner into the correctly labeled quart sprayer. Clean mirrors by spraying sparingly with QC-5020 glass cleaner and then polishing with a dry cloth. Check toilet bowls and urinals. If necessary, clean with RB-352 non-acid restroom cleaner. Being non-acid, this product can be used safely on a regular basis. Replenish toilet paper, paper towels, and hand soap as necessary. Sweep up debris on the floor and mop if necessary with FC-1804 floor cleaner. When you've made sure all promotional flyers are in place, you've completed the 30-minute check. Customers paying to use our shower facilities expect a clean, fresh-smelling environment. These showers are an important part of our business and must be maintained efficiently on a consistent basis. Similar to the restroom cleaning, the showers have two cleaning procedures. The first level is the GI procedure, which is a heavy-duty cleaning of the shower done once a day. Here's a list of the equipment needed to perform the proper GI procedure. Rubber gloves, dry cloths, DS-411 surface disinfectant deodorant, red IM-616 GI shower and island cleaner and pump-up sprayer, RB-352 non-acid restroom cleaner and brush, blue QC-5020 glass cleaner, 
mop and mop bucket with clean water, wet floor sign, HB210 pink lotion hand soap, sanitation strip, and floor mats. Upon entering the shower, remove any debris or hangers from the area. Oscillating and exhaust fans need to be cleaned at the beginning of the process because any particles on the fan will fall to the floor. Remove any dust and debris buildup on the fan with a brush. Spray with QC5020 glass cleaner and wipe dry with a clean cloth. Next, clean the ashtrays. Remove any loose debris and empty all ashtrays. If necessary, wipe out the inside of the ashtray holder. Spray ashtray holder with QC5020 glass cleaner to clean and wipe outside, then inside. Replace the ashtray. Clean the dressing area. Spray all walls, toilet, sink, towel rack, shower bench, and toilet tissue dispenser with IM616 GI shower and island cleaner. Wipe all areas completely dry with a clean cloth. Spray fixture with DS-411 Surface Disinfectant Spray. Clean mirror. Spray mirror sparingly with QC-5020 Glass Cleaner. Polish dry with a clean cloth. Clean shower stall. Spray the shower walls, fixtures, and floor with IM616 GI Shower and Island Cleaner. Scrub all surfaces clean. Wipe walls and floor with clean cloth until dry. Verify that all corners and the drain have all hair, dirt, and soap scum removed. Spray shower walls and floors with DS-402 disinfectant and let air dry. If shower isn't dry when you're finished cleaning, then towel dry the shower walls and floor on your way out. Clean toilet, lift lid, and remove water from bowl of toilet with bowl mop. Apply RB352 non-acid bowl cleaner around the upper rim of the toilet bowl. Coat inside of the bowl with the product and allow to work. Apply bowl cleaner to cloth and clean the toilet seat. Clean the top, clean behind the seat, the toilet rim, and the outside of the bowl. Lift lid and scrub toilet bowl with brush, then flush to rinse. If necessary, wipe exterior of the bowl with towel. If your stall partitions are metal or stainless steel, apply SP737 stainless steel polish and dry with a clean cloth. Clean the trash cans. If necessary, first remove can liner, then wipe the inside, clearing away any spills or debris. Spray QC5020 glass cleaner onto container to clean. Wipe outside, then inside dry with a clean cloth. Spray DS-411 surface disinfectant deodorizer and insert new can liner if required. Reposition trash can in its original position. Before leaving the shower, make sure toilet sanitation strip is installed. Also, be sure a new floor, bath mat, and shower pledge are in place. Verify that all non-visible areas have been cleaned, such as behind the toilet, under the sink, behind shower bench. Check all equipment for proper function, then return the shower key to the manager on duty, so the shower can be inspected, ensuring that quality standards are maintained. Lastly, clean the floor. Sweep the floor, removing all dirt and debris.
Spray the floor liberally with IM616 GI Shower and Island Cleaner using the pump-up sprayer. Using deck brush, scrub the floor thoroughly. Towel dry the entire floor. Working your way out the door, and turning the lights off as you leave. The second level of shower cleaning is simply cleaning the shower between customers. This is a three to five minute procedure. Rubber gloves, dry cloths, DS-411 surface disinfectant deodorant, RB-352 non-acid restroom cleaner and brush, DS-402 lemon disinfectant cleaner, blue QC-5020 glass cleaner, sanitation strip, and floor mats. Begin by removing all debris from the shower area, then remove and empty the ashtrays. Clean ashtray holder with QC-5020 glass cleaner. Wipe the outside, then the inside dry. and replace the ashtray. Spray sink area with DS-402 Lemon Disinfectant Cleaner. Scrub walls and floors if necessary. Wipe area with a clean cloth. Spray mirror sparingly with QC-5020 Glass Cleaner and dry with a clean cloth. Clean toilet stalls. Lift lid and force water out of bowl with brush. Apply bowl cleaner to inside of bowl and under rim, then let set. While bowl cleaner is working, apply RB352 non-acid bowl cleaner to a cloth. Wipe top and bottom of seat, behind the seat, the top of the rim, and the outside of the toilet. When bowl cleaners had time to work, Swab with bowl mop and flush. If necessary, wipe exterior of the bowl dry. Place a sanitation strip on toilet when complete. Spray shower floor with DS-402 Lemon Disinfectant Cleaner. Towel dry the shower stall floor and wipe your way out with a clean cloth. Check all corners and drain for any hair, dirt, or soap scum and remove it if found. Place a new floor, bath mat, and shower pledge on the bench in the shower area. Check the shower and make sure customers will be totally satisfied with the shower. Return the key to the fuel desk once completed. Scheduled proper floor cleaning is important, not only for the general cleanliness of the units, but also to ensure the safety of the customer. Routine floor cleaning will require the following supplies. Clean mop with handle, broom and dust fan, and a mop bucket and wringer. Your particular pilot location may have one of two types of floors. The first type is a stone or brick type material known as quarry tile. This floor is very durable and has no floor finish or protective coating applied. It is very porous and dirt, grease, and grime easily embed into the surface. 
FC1812 Quarry Tile Floor Cleaner is an acid-based cleaner designed to lift the grease and soil from the quarry tile and allow it to be rinsed away. The acidic properties etch the quarry tile and grout and ensure a non-skid surface. Being an acidic liquid, it's important not to mix this cleaner with any other product because a dangerous gas could be formed. The second type of floor covering is resilient tile. It is sealed with a floor finish or floor wax. FC 1804 floor cleaner should be used on resilient tile. This product is safe on any finished or wax that might be applied to the floor. An FC 1804 floor cleaner does not need to be rinsed. For practical purposes, look at the floor space of your location and divide it into thirds. Next, clean each section one at a time. Following this procedure allows for a safe, efficient, and controlled method of maintaining floors. Usually, quarry tile floors should be deep cleaned on a daily basis. The method used is similar to the one for GI restroom cleaning. Begin by filling the two-gallon pump-up sprayer with a solution of FC 1812 Quarry Tile Floor Cleaner. Also fill a mop bucket and wringer with clean, hot water. Pick the section of floor to be cleaned first, then set out wet floor signs accordingly. Move merchandise displays where possible before sweeping floor of all dirt and debris. Spray floor liberally with cleaning solution, being careful not to splash the cleaner on the sides of gondolas, shelving units, display racks, and etc. Spray one aisle section at a time. Allow solution a few minutes of contact time and then scrub floors where needed. Start at one end of the area being cleaned. Take a dry mop and begin removing excess cleaner by moving the mop in long, side-to-side -side sweeping motions. Maintain contact with floor to pick up all excess soil and solution. Rinse and wring out the mop when it becomes full of excess solution. Finally, thoroughly rinse the mop in the bucket of clean water. Wring out mop completely and repeat the previous step to finish the cleaning procedure. Allow the floor to air dry. Before moving to the next section, empty the mop bucket and refill it with clean hot water. Rinse the mop and start the next section. For repeated daily mopping and maintaining of all floors, do the following. Divide the store into sections. Fill a mop bucket with clean hot water. Sweep floor thoroughly and display wet floor signs. Dip the mop into the water. Wring out completely. Begin damp mopping floor using wide sweeping movements and then allow the floor to air dry. Change water if necessary before moving on to the next section. Damp mopping a resilient tile floor requires only one step. Using all of the previous pre-cleaning procedures, damp mop the floor using FC 1804 floor cleaner dispensed from the chemical proportioner and allow to air dry. No rinsing is required with this product. Our fuel islands for both cars and trucks experience a great deal of abuse. It's an area that can quickly become unappealing to the customer. It's important, therefore, that fuel islands and pumps be maintained on a very regular basis. Now, due to the nature of diesel fuel, the diesel fuel islands will require a heavier degree of cleaning than the gas islands. Well, let's first take a look at the diesel islands. These procedures must occur on a daily basis. Here's the equipment that you'll need. Protective gloves, pressure washer or HOTSE machine, Hose for the pressure washer or HOTSE machine. Red IM616 GI shower and island cleaner in a pump-up sprayer. SP737 stainless steel polish. Blue QC5020 glass cleaner. Dry cloths. And green GC544 pump cleaner. Before using chemical products on the fuel islands, be sure to check local regulations concerning the lot runoff of chemical cleaning products. Where chemicals are not allowed, your pressure washer will be the only means of cleaning available. Before using any mechanical equipment, go through a preventative maintenance check. First, prepare pressure washer for operation. Check belts, hoses, etc. for proper operation. Make sure the gas and oil levels in the engine are adequate. 
inspect components for proper function, check hoses for leaks, and check for any other physical problems with the machine. Block off one island at a time. Thoroughly wet down the area to be cleaned. If your location allows the use of chemicals, apply IM616 GI Shower and Island Cleaner using the pump-up sprayer. Spray liberally on the pad. Allow to soak for 5 to 10 minutes. Using the pressure washer, pressure wash the pad. Keep the wand of the pressure washer 4 to 6 inches above the concrete. Pressure wash the fuel pad starting at the end, moving toward the oil water separator grate. Work all the oil and debris and dirt toward the middle and front of the pad using small sweeping movements from side to side to clean the island. Finish the cleaning process at the oil water separator grate. If local regulations do not allow the use of chemicals on Fuel Island, simply use pressure washer to clean Fuel Island. The final step is the cleaning of the actual pumps. First, clean all clear glass or plastic areas with QC5020 glass cleaner. To all non-glass and plastic areas, apply GC544 pump cleaner. Allow a few moments for the product to work, and then wipe dry. This product can be used to clean pump spout, handle holding rack, and rubber hose. Clean the pump thoroughly with a dry cloth. Reset nozzle into position if necessary. Next, apply SP737 stainless steel cleaner. This product will clean the metal as well as leave a protective silicone coating. Working in a circular motion, Clean and polish with a soft dry cloth. Be sure to work the product into the corners. Gas islands should be cleaned in the same manner by repeating the steps previously discussed. General store cleaning consists of all glass windows and doors, countertops, shelving, beverage and food service areas, and walk-in coolers. The equipment and supplies you'll need include dry cloths, QC5020 glass cleaner, DS402 lemon disinfectant cleaner, clean mop and handle, mop bucket with wringer. For glass and doors, ready-to-use QC5020 glass cleaner dispensed from the proportioner is the proper product to use. The key to this product is spraying sparingly where needed. Do not flood the entire glass surface with product. This will simply require more time and the use of more towels and product to get the job done. QC5020 glass cleaner is also an excellent light duty cleaner. It can be used for regular cleaning of shelves and countertops, display cases, and any service needing a light cleaning touch up. Be certain the cleaning products are never left unattended in public areas. This has the potential of becoming a hazard to the health and safety of our customers. For food and beverage service areas, QC5020 glass cleaner is an excellent light-duty, non-toxic cleaner. For beverage equipment, such as coffee brewers, spray your cloth with QC5020 glass cleaner. Wipe the top of the coffee brewer and then the sides. Do not spray product directly on hot beverage equipment. Walk-in coolers can be a source of bacteria growth and odors. It is important that walk-in cooler floors be properly cleaned and maintained on a regular basis. All items on the floor should be moved out of the way to allow for cleaning. The floor should then be swept of any dirt and debris. Use a solution of FC1804 floor cleaner dispensed from the chemical proportioner into a mop bucket. 
Apply a liberal amount of cleaner solution to the floor, scrubbing with mop as you proceed. Allow the hot water solution to sit on the floor for a short period of time to work. Wring out mop completely and begin mopping up excess solution. Wring out the mop often and continue to mop the floor until complete. Allow to air dry. Spray the floor liberally with DS402 Lemon Disinfectant and allow to air dry. After cleaning and stocking the walk-in cooler, clean the cooler doors. This is extremely important because customers see these doors regularly. Spray QC5020 glass cleaner sparingly on the glass. Thoroughly clean the inside and outside of all reach-in cooler doors with a clean, dry cloth. One last word about the cleaning products we've talked about. Each pilot location has a book containing a material safety data sheet on each chemical cleaning product on location. This MSDS, as it's called, contains all necessary information as it applies to emergency first aid procedures, if a person gets the product in their skin, in their eyes, or consumed internally. The MSDS explains health hazards, if any, and lists ingredients of the product. You should know where this book is for quick reference in case of an emergency. And in closing, following the proper procedures when cleaning will make your job easier and safer. This is Joe Pilot saying keep clean in mind and safety all the time. See you again real soon.